Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial which is about band tickets transition. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can organize video clips on the timeline to apply transition preset to make slight transition. Right now, you are watching transitions of Bantike and the transitions using by this preset. Now we can get into Adobe Premiere Pro. Inside Premiere Pro, I have already got these clips on the timeline. Now I'm gonna explain the details about these video clips. At the beginning of the timeline, I have 7 video clips. There are also 16 video clips of the middle of the timeline. The length of the first video on the first layer is 1 and half seconds, which is 45 frames based on this 30 frames timeline. 24 frames timeline is perfect for cinematic video. Now it is time for the second video. Duration of this second video is less than the first video, which is 38 frames. You have to follow the exactly same frame rate, that is not true. We can follow the similar duration. Third video is less than the second video clips, which is 28 frames. Fourth video is 21 frames, less than the third video. Duration of the fifth video is less than the fourth video, which is 16 frames. This way you have to adjust the duration of the rest of the videos. These all are the videos that I'm gonna use to make this transition. Here is another video that will be added at the end of the transition. Frame rate of the 16 videos middle of the transition is 6 frames. Right now I'm gonna organize all the videos properly so I have to drag the rest of the videos to the upper layer. Now I'm dragging the second video to the right side of the first video. This way I'm gonna drag this third video to the right side of the second video. Now I'm skipping this part so you don't have to wait. Now it is time to place the rest of the 16 videos whose frame rate is 6. I'm making a speed up this part so you don't have to wait. At this moment, I'm gonna place the last video at the end and we can do a playback. Have a look at program monitor. So guys, now we have to download the preset which is free download link in the description. After download, you have to extract this file. Now right click on the file, then click extract here. So the file will open and it is ready for use. Now we have to input the preset. So I'm gonna click this icon, then select effects. After that, click the right button of the mouse here. Then click the import preset, select the folder where is the preset. Now select the preset and hit open. Now the preset is here. Now select the preset and drag this preset to the timeline and apply to this footage. Have a look at program monitor, our preset I mean transition is effected right now. Now we can move over there in the effect controls, here is our preset. I have added the total 6 keyframes of position and scale. Duration of first 2 keyframes is 4 frames and the duration of last 2 keyframes is 2 frames. If you wanna make this transition preset, you can watch this tutorial which link down in the description. Now we can apply this transition preset to rest of the videos. Here is another way to apply this preset just you have to copy the preset by hitting ctrl plus key at the same time. Then select the footage and hit the ctrl plus v key at the same time to apply this preset. Now select footage and hit the ctrl plus v key to apply this preset. Do the same thing for every single footage so the work will be smooth. By the way, we don't apply this transition to the last video. Well, now I'm gonna select a video which is 6 frames and moving over there to the effect controls. Here you see in the effect control, this is actually 6 frames uh, preset or transition cover the 6 frames footage properly. Right now, to make the playback smooth, we have to render this video. So I'm moving over there in the sequence and select render into out to render the video. After rendering, playback will be better than the previous type. So guys, you can also apply here sound effects to make this transition better. If you have any question about this transition, please let me know down in the comment section. I'll be back in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye.